In this tutorial, it is shown how to control such a DC motor with the Arduino Uno. Typically, a DC motor like this can't be driven directly from the Arduino Uno for various reasons. For example, the operating voltage of such a DC motor is more than 5V, or simply because driving the DC motor consumes too much power. Fortunately, there are motor controller modules, such as the L298N module, which solve these issues. The L298N module allows us to control two, or even more, DC motors at the same time. We can drive the connected motors in two different directions and with different speed levels. Next I'm gonna show you how I wired these components in order to drive this single DC motor. In my setup I use two different power supplies. A 5V standard USB connection to power the Arduino Uno and a separate 9V power supply to power the L298N module and the DC motor. The second power supply is necessary, since the DC motor has an operating voltage of 3V up to 12V, and as the L298N has a large voltage drop, which is in my setup a bit higher than 2V, I need the second 9V power supply. As a 9V power supply, I use a so-called USB power booster, which boosts the output of a standard USB power supply from 5V to 9V. From there, I make use of a power check socket in combination with these hook clips in order to have a voltage of 9V on my breadboard. With these 9V, I power the L298N module by connecting them to these two inputs. This third input can be used to power, for example, an Arduino Uno, as it outputs 5V when this jumper is set. In order to power the DC motor, I made this connection between the module and the DC motor. Again, I made use of these very handy hook clips. As mentioned before, I can basically control two or even more DC motors with this module. Typically, these two outputs are used for the first motor and these two outputs can be used for the second motor. Since I want to control only one motor in this tutorial, I will need only the second pair of outputs. Lastly, I connected three pins from the Arduino to the module. The blue and yellow wires are connected to the modules input 3 and input 4, which control the direction. The white wire is connected to a PVM pin of the Arduino and the modules enable B pin in order to control the speed of the motor. Take note that the same ground is shared by all components. Thereby, the L298N module correctly interprets the values coming from the Arduino. And that's about it. A little setup to control a single DC motor. Let's take a quick look at a fritzing file. As I just mentioned, I use two different power supplies for the Arduino and the motor controller module. Here you see that both the Arduino and the module share the same ground. These three wires are used to control the motor's direction and speed from the Arduino. And the DC motor itself is driven by these two wires. By the way, if you mix these two wires up, the motor will just rotate in the opposite direction. This is the program that we will execute on the Arduino. At the beginning I define three variables. The first one is enable B, which will be used to control the speed. Then comes input 3 and input 4, which will be used to control the motor's direction. In the setup function, all three variables are used to define the corresponding pins as output pins. Then a function is defined, which slows the motor down. Next, another function is defined, which sets the motor to full speed. You can play around with the values you set here. At least for me, 128 and 255 worked well. The last function is our main program. Here we set the direction by setting input 3 to low and input 4 to high. Then we call the slow function and the built-in delay function. The motor will drive in the slow mode for 5 seconds. Then we call the fast function and set a delay for another 5 seconds. Now the motor will drive in fast mode for 5 seconds. Then we do the same thing again, but this time we change the direction. Here the direction is changed by setting input 3 to high and input 4 to low this time. Ok then, let's try it out. I will start a program and you should see that the motor spins in four different modes.
Okay, it seems that everything worked. So we are at the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Have a nice day and goodbye.